What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We are here with the Big Block Modifieds. A little bit late, not as bad as it's been in the past. A little bit of an issue getting into this one, as it looks like Logan Herbert currently out there with the quick time. We're watching Damian Ward. Damian Ward looks to be second quick on tonight. We still got some big, big racers coming out here. It looks like Isaac De Oliveira. I haven't seen him out here in a, a top split official in a while. He's looking to take a lap. Let's go check out check on him is he out there doing his lap where's isaac there's isaac been a while since he's been out here so isaac out here in that number 15 machine looking to see where he can qualify he's gonna go fourth quickest man that is good for him it's been a while since i've seen him out here how's everybody doing here tonight is moody racing moody is not racing uh, this is top split official Moody very rarely runs any officials top split, you know, openers. All right, let me go ahead and situate this, uh, YouTube real quick. And then we will go through tonight's starting lineup for heat race. Number one, hold on. Let me do this and then I'll at least get us on some cars real quick. As these guys get ready for the first heat race of the night, as we got Logan Herbert and Kenny Cudney on that front row. How's everybody doing tonight? Let me know out in the chat. How you guys doing? As everybody gets up in here. Yes, I am a little late. Uh, that, another issue once again with... With iRacing, not... Uh, Working the way it should. Garrett, thank you for the share. Appreciate that. Damien, Isaac, Harold, uh, Isaac. Sorry. Damien and Garrett, thank you for the share. Isaac, thank you for the like. Harold, thank you for the like. Trying to do too much at once. This is what happens when I race and screws around with me like that. <laughs> As I'm going to go ahead and put that title in. So, uh, Knoxville, probably one of the, mo one of the more popular tracks in the... And iRacing Dirt is going to be Knoxville as these guys set to do battle here for 50 laps tonight. First, we're going to get a eight lap heat. Oh, come on. What are you doing? All right. There you go. All right. Sorry. Playing a little bit of catch up. Thanks to uh, iRacing tonight. I'm Elite 35. Thank you for those shares. Appreciate that. I am. I don't get the race a whole lot because I end up broadcasting it on Landon. And I don't, I don't broadcast my own races. I don't stream my own races because, because I race in VR and I can't interact with the chat. And that's really what I like to do. All right. It's going to be Logan Herbert starting on the pole here tonight. Kenny Cudney in second. Joe, thank you for the like. Going to be Tyler Reed starting in third. Ethan Bill is going to start in that number four spot. Kieran in that number five spot. Felix Waugh in fifth. Going to be Durgan, our points leader, starting way back in seventh. Sean in eighth. Ryan Gofamas in ninth. Brian Orto, haven't seen him in a top split and official in 10th. And last week's third place finisher, Kevin Robinson, starting in that number three position as we are looking for the green flag this time by out of turn number four. Green flag is out. Green flag is out as Herbert gets on the gas. He's going to slide up in front of Cudney as they head into one and two. This is a hard hit in heat race number one. Let's go. <laughs> What's up, Helms? What's up, Ray? As Logan Herbert continues to lead the field out of turn at number four, he's going to lead lap number one. Cudney putting the pressure on him as they come out of turn at number four, down into one and two. Here comes Tyler Reed putting the pressure on Cudney out of turn number two. Down the back straightaway, we got a drag race back there for that number four position. Ethan Bill tried to hold on to it as Felix Wad digs up underneath as they come out of turn number four. Two real life drivers right there. Felix in the Super Dirt Car Series running 358s and big blocks. Oh, we got a little bit of contact as Durgan jumped the berm, slides up the track. He's going to take Kiron with him. Roundtree goes to the back of the pack as they're going to try to split Brian Orto out of turn number four. Currently in that final transfer spot is going to be Sean in that number three machine. Or three, sorry, three machine as he is looking like he's pretty safe right now. <laughs> he's trying to. He's trying to. 
as he's out four tenths of a second as Tyler Reed continues to put the pressure on Cudney. But I'll tell you what, the battle on the track is for that number four spot. Felix Waugh still up underneath Ethan Bell as it looks like Reed gets up underneath Cudney out of turn two, not able to get a stick. He's going to shove it in there a little bit harder in three and four. Whatever. <laughs> he's not going to make top split. Battle for that number three spot. We're going to keep an eye on the battle for a second up ahead, but this battle's been going on the whole time as they come out of turn number two. Looks like Sean is losing a little bit of ground on Kevin Robinson as he tries to race his way back into this one after having a strong podium last week as they come out of turn number four. Going to be two laps to go. Two laps to go into turn number one and two. Continuing to watch this battle for that number four spot. Felix Wah holding strong on the inside. Looks like Ethan Bill might clear him this time in turn number three of four. SOF, it would look like it was like a 5,400. Ray, thank you for the share. Derek, thank you for the like. Ray, thank you for the like. Appreciate that. Hayden, thank you for the share. I'm elite. What a <laughs> whole bunch of, uh, whole bunch of, uh, shares out of I'm Elite 35. I, I barely can see the chat in it. Out of turn number four, Herbert continues to lead. Here comes Cudney as the checker flag is out. Going to be Herbert, Cudney, Reed, Ethan Bill, Ro Felix Waugh, Gafamas, and uh, Sean going to the feature. Let's go get <laughs> Dakota Chase. Thank you guys for the follow. Hayden, thank you for the share. Appreciate that. As we get ready, big blocks. No, just big blocks. And then we got uh then we got super late models around uh 945 Eastern Standard Time. Dylan Kinsey, thank you for the like. Hashtag West. What's up, buddy? Thank you for the like. Always see him pop his head out here every once in a while. Let's get ready for heat race number two. All right, I'm playing everyone. Yeah, let's get the 10k likes once again. Chase, thank you for the like. Tried to catch my breath. I'm playing catch up after iRacing was a little glitchy and I couldn't get into the server. So we missed uh, most of qualifying and all of practice. But it's going to be Damian Ward starting on the pole. Welcome back, Isaac, in that number two spot. Tyler Re or Tyler Clemen, T Club, is going to start in that number three spot with Brandon Barnhart starting in fourth. Going to be Drew Alton starting in fifth. Aaron Rockefeller back in sixth. Garrett Claremont in that number seven position. Chance Carr in eighth. Cameron, ninth, and Aaron Langley in that number 10 position. Top seven going to transfer through. Everybody else to the county. Who won the Logan Herbert run, won heat race number one. Herbert won heat race number one. He's had a rough couple weeks. He did finish second last week, but he's looking to capitalize apparently on a win this week. What's up, Karen? What's up, Mayo? I see you out there. Let's go, Damien, says Larry. You know, I'll tell you what. I'm rude. <laughs> the Cambridge rocket. Let's go. Says Mayo. Um, I'll tell you what I ran a Volusia race and I haven't ran in probably about six weeks. David Mayo. Thank you for the like. Appreciate that. Mike. Thank you for the like. Um, it was so rough. I didn't know how to drive it. I didn't know how to drive it. It was that rough. I was lost in the sauce at probably one of my better tracks. I was fast. I, I got Quick time for qualifying, quick time for the race. But man, when the track got slick, I was so lost in the sauce. As the green flag is out, Damian Ward on the gas. He's going to have a big jump as T. Clem and Tyler Reed, or Tyler Clemen duke it out for that number two spot. Oh, we got one around, one around. That is going to be Barnhart around here early in heat race number two. Let's go take a look and see what happened to him. Looks like he might get ran over. Was it by... Oh, Drew's going to park it and then uh, Rockefeller into the back of him. So Drew parked it on his nose. That's going to be rough for Barnhart. He's going to have to race his way in through Conti unless something big happens like that. Garrett Claremont goes around. So an exciting he race number two as Garrett goes around. Let's see what happens here. Oh, he's not clear, not clear, not clear. Oh, no, Drew's on. Oh, there's nowhere for Garrett to go there. Drew just kind of right hooked him, trying to stay on that door. As Damian Ward continues to lead, Isaac D'Oliveira second, Tyler Clement in third. Cameron started at the back of the pack. He's up to that number four spot. Chance Carr in fifth, Drew Alton in sixth. Rockefeller in that seventh and final transfer spot as Aaron Langley tries to run him down. Let's go. Drew says no one. Uh, I don't know. I, we'll, we'll see what I do, Maddox. 
Tyler's going to ruin. Yeah, Tyler's got some work to do in order to win this one. He's going to look for second here as he shoves it up underneath Isaac. Battle for that number two spot as Tyler Clemen tries to find his way around Isaac de Oliveira as they head through turn number three of four. <laughs> What's up, Ox? What's up? What's up, bro? What's up, Coda? That's how... Uh, yeah, I was so lost. I can't believe how lost I was. Ox, thank you for the like, by the way. Are we getting you back this Thursday? I hope so. I can hear the drivers. Nobody's, nobody's really saying a whole lot. Even after I, it was a come on somebody, it was all I heard. Down into turn number one and two. Two laps to go as we watch the battle for that number four position. Chance Carr trying to find his way around. Cameron Turtle as they head in the Tuttle. Is it Tuttle? Tuttle, no R. As they head through turn number three of four, Turtle is if he's slow, and he doesn't look too slow right now. As they head into turn number one and two, White Flag is out one lap to go. Mayo can't fish. Yeah, he definitely got screwed. He definitely did, Brian. As Damian Ward leads the way. <laughs> What's up, Coffee Cock? As they come out of turn number four, it's going to be Damian Ward, Isaac de Oliveira, T. Clem. Cameron, Chance Carr, Alton, and Rockefeller go into the feature. All right, let me gather myself a little bit here. I got a little bit of time to breathe. I definitely, uh, I'm struggling after having it, getting that late start. Looks like we're setting three drivers home tonight. All right, looks like we got three drivers going home tonight. I'm just here to carry that right front tire. <laughs> All right. So it is going to be Kevin Robinson starting on the pole here tonight. Aaron Langley in second. Going to be Durgan starting at third. Barnhart at fourth. Roundtree going to start in that number five position. Claremont in sixth. Brian Orto in seventh. Jimmy, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. All right. If I had to say who I thought, oh man, that would be hard. All right, so I think Dirk and Barnhart and Roundtree will make it in as long as they don't have an accident. Uh, man. That is tough to pick who's going to be that fourth driver. Well, I'll tell you what. Dirk and Barnhart, Roundtree. Claremont and Robinson should be close as someone who could make it in. That's going to be close. So Robinson going to start on the pole. Langley second. Durgan in third. Going to be Barnhart fourth. Roundtree, fifth, Claremont, and six, And then Orto's going to round out the field in that number seven position. <laughs> this is going to be a tough concy, I'll tell you that. Kobe, thank you for the follow. I do, I do race. Uh, I don't ever uh, stream my races. I race in VR, so it's hard for me to interact. Trev, thank you for the follow. All right, we are looking for the green flag as these guys come out of turn number two. We're going to get, we got one to go this time by down the back straightaway. Who's making it in? Who is going home? Let me know in the chat what you think. Trev, what's up? What's up, buddy? As we are looking for the green flag this time by, let's go ahead and put it up on the spotter stand. I like this view here. As they come out of turn four, pace car is in. Green flag is out. Kaysen, thank you for the share. Green flag is out as they come out of turn number four. It's going to be Robinson leading the way as we got the LCQ. Oh, Durgan shoving it in there. Big contact as Roundtree is going to fall back to the back of the pack. That is not what I expected out of that number two as they head through turn number three and four. Robinson leads the way. Langley second. Durgan third. Barnhart in fourth. Claremont on, uh, Claremont on the outside looking in. Brian Orto and Roundtree battling for that last position. Let's go, Aaron, says T uh, Taylor. Down the back straightaway into turn number three of four. It's going to be Robinson out front. He's going to lead lap number one and two as they come across the line. Here comes Langley digging up underneath as they head through turn number one and two. Down the back straightaway. Man, I am surprised to see Garrett and Roundtree so far back. These guys this far back, it might be a shoe-in for the top four unless something big happens. Here comes Durgan looking low on Langley. Yeah, I am live for some good. There's some good racing. Which one's Coffee Cock? That is Keller Racing. Oh, Coffee Cock's not out here, though. That's who it is in the chat. 
Brandy, what's up, buddy? Thank you for the like. As they come out of turn number four, Durgan continue to try to get that number two spot. He's rolling low. Langley up high. Langley giving him plenty of room. He knows he's in as, a group, as they come out of turn number two. Down the back straightaway. Here comes Barnhart. He's looking for a little bit of cushion as they head into turn number three of four. Barnhart digging low in that number six. Out of turn four. We're going to be five laps complete. Halfway through heat race number one. Or, wow. Through the Kotze. Down into turn number one and two. It's going to be Barnhart down low. These guys get racing too hard. It is going to drag in Claremont. Claremont could potentially race his way in if these guys get together. The, this is a open set. They make their sets. I don't know if I'm doing it tonight or not. This is I racing. I racing. Kevin Robinson out front. Caleb Durgan second. Aaron Langley going to secure that number three spot as Barnhart falls back in line in fourth. Out of turn number four. It is going to be three laps to go at the line. Here comes Barnhart back down low. Barnhart looking for that number. Oh, Durgan's going to slide to the lead. Robinson back over with the cut down. We got a battle for the lead. Out of turn number two. No, thank you for the follow. <laughs> down into two. Oh, a little bit of contact. You're welcome, Tori. As they come out of turn number four, it's going to be Robinson back to the point. He's got two more laps to hold on. I'll tell you what, a B-man warrior, a B-man won against Caleb Durgan is a win if Robinson can pull this one off as they head through turn number three of four. Here comes Robinson down low, Durgan up high, drag race out of turn number four as they come to the line. Robinson has it. White flag is out. White flag is out as they head into turn number one and two. Robinson too much on the berm. Big run for Durgan on the high side. Oh, you just got to get some practice in. We're all bad at first. Durgan's going to lead it out of turn number four. He's going to take the B main. It's going to be Robinson second. Brandon third. Langley in fourth. Roundtree, Claremont, and Orto all going home. I'll tell you what. Durgan, the, Durgan, the B main warrior here tonight. <laughs> Is Derek out there? I, I, I'm used to seeing Derek's been out there a lot lately. Caleb with the steal. He, he ran that one. Yeah, I mean, it was good race. And I'll tell you what, uh, Robinson has actually picked it up a lot. I'm definitely impressed with how he's been. And he's been a lot cleaner. We used to always say, oh, no, Robinson is in this race. Oh, my God, no, not Robinson. I'll tell you what, I don't think I'd mind. I think Robinson would say that about me if I got in the race. I mean, you can get a wheel. So this is, you can get a wheel for about, I don't know, what, 300 bucks, 200 bucks. Uh, for uh, Xbox or PlayStation, which will also work on PC. This game is PC only. What's up, Derek? Baseball, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Mark in here? No. This is... Uh, so, if you if you guys watch these, you'll start to learn who the drivers are that are in these every week. Let's go through tonight's starting lineup for the main event. It's going to be 50 laps here tonight. And I need to take the heat lines off over on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch real quick. Hold on, hold on before I forget. There we go. All right. It's going to be Logan Herbert starting on the pole here tonight. Damian Ward in second. Kenny Cudney in third. Going to be Isaac D'Alevera in that number four spot. Tyler Reed in fifth. T. Clem in sixth. Ethan Bill going to start in that number seven position. Cameron Tuttle in eighth. Then we got Felix Waugh in that number nine spot. Chance Carr going to start in tenth. Ryan Gofamis, 11th. Drew Alton in 12th. <laughs> no, you're always doing that to me. Thank you for the follow, though. Okay, thanks. Um, yeah, definitely a wheel makes a big difference over a controller, but there are a few guys that are exceptional on a controller. Uh, you'll see him on here, Timothy Mismir. He's not in this race, but he'll be on this channel a lot. He is phenomenal. Phenomenal. I do... I. I go to, I work actually at Fulton Speedway up this way. All right, rounding out the rest of the field is going to be Sean in that number 13 spot. Rockefeller, 14th. Durgan, 15th. Robinson in 15th. Barnhart's going to be 17th. And Langley in that number 18 position. Looking for the green flag out of turn number four. I see you over there, Mayo. Green flag as they head into turn number one and two. Let's go, Damien, says Larry. Karen, of course, rooting for Ethan. What's up, Derek? Let's go. Let's get it done. Damien says, Debbie. And Garrett says, oh, <laughs> got Drew's alt deleted. I didn't know Drew had an alt. All right. 
into turn number one and two. It's going to be Logan Herbert leading lap number one as they come out of turn two. It is chaos further back. Oh, Ethan Bill and the 32 of Damian Ward got together there as they head through turn number three and four. They're going to get it situated as they come out of turn number four. Tyler Reed up to that number two spot. Kenny Cundy and third. Damian Ward has fallen back to that number four spot. Ethan Bill up behind him in that number 14. It is side by side. Oh, no. Isaac gets turned around out of turn number two. Eric, Debbie, thank you guys both for the like. Appreciate that. I haven't played it, but yeah, it's made by Irison. It is definitely made by Irison. All right, let's go see what happened to Isaac here. All right, let's see what happened to Isaac. Oh, no. Felix just gets into the back of him. Looked like Isaac might have been a little light in the rear end there. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Oh, uh, Felix is apologizing to Isaac. All right, so we got that. We got that first caution flag of the night as Logan Herbert and Tyler Reed are up at the front of the front of the field. Oh, is it giving Cudney back second? No, I don't think so. I think Reed had it. And they are talking way too much now. Ken, thank you for the like. Appreciate that. <laughs> Class Clint sized. <laughs> Look like the 81 car cost that one. <laughs> I've never tried GT7 either. Yeah, there's a lot of cool games out there. iRacing is really restricted, but their content is amazing to start with. And you can see, I mean, look at what we got here. And, the, and, and don't call it a game because these guys will get triggered and say, it's a simulator. All right, they got him stacked up two by two. We're going to look to go back green flag race, and it's going to be Herbert out front with Tyler Reed. Could Tyler Reed break through a victory? Tyler Reed is more than capable of winning, and he is up at the front. Watch that number 58 machine. It's similar. I have a, So I have a direct drive, which makes it a little bit more. Who's your three picks? Oh, huh. Charlie, thank you for the follow. I mean, Herbert's got to be a favorite. Don't count out Durgan, even though he's in the back. Um, and Cudney. I mean, I can't. There, I don't know if I can pick three. I can pick two that I say are definitely going to be there. And then there's probably about a handful more. Oh, got contact. There goes one of them around as he cut down and got in, got connected. Oh, no. He got connected with Ethan Bill, but I do not think that was Ethan Bill's fault. Let's go take a look at that one. Oh, somebody hit the berm. Oh, Ethan. It was Ethan. Hit the berm and got Reed. Oh, Felix gets a piece of it. Reed gets the worst of it. As he ends up at the back of the back. Caution flag comes out. You got to wonder, though. Felix could have some damage on that number 91. Not 100% sure. Where Tyler Reed got into him. Let's go jump on Felix and see how hard that hit was with Felix Wah. Yep, that's Ethan. <laughs> yeah, he apologized. He said, I got the berm. Oh, that, oh, that's not too bad. Felix should be all right. Reed should be all right, too. I don't think Reed took any big hits there. He is on pit road, though, coming off pretty quick. Yeah, I think Reed might be all right. I think he just checked to make sure he didn't have any damage. So Reed's going to come out. Watch for Reed. To, oh, I don't know. Might be walking. Oh, it's, it is definitely walking a little funny. He's going to go ahead and bail out of that. He is not happy. That is unfortunate. Ah, oh. <laughs> it's just loose. I mean, it is dirt. It is uh, actually, believe it or not, these things get stupid tight. Stupid tight. I mean, like, yeah, you'll see it on some of these starts. You would have seen it already if it was going to happen, but on some of these heat starts, especially, you'll see somebody who's too tight. They'll get on the gas and it'll push right up into the row above them. As they come out of turn number two, looking for that green flag this time by. All right, we're going to try this one again. I'll tell you what, they're lucky it didn't swap the positions because that happens a lot. Looks like Herbert able to hold on to lead. That's going to move Kenny Cudney up to that number two spot. 
Look at for the green flag. Green flag is out as they come out of turn number four. Herbert leads it. Kenny Cudney second. Damian Ward in third. Hopefully we get some good racing in. I was just bragging about these guys yesterday as they come out of turn two down the back straightaway. Down into turn number three and four. Top four single file. Felix Wild going to stick it up on the outside as they're side by side. Out of turn number four. Big run by Ethan Bell on the bottom. Ethan going to get up underneath. Damian Ward. Damian Ward won last night's FTM race. If you guys watched that one, if not, go check it out over on YouTube as they head through turn number three and four. Out of turn number four, top three, single file. Ethan Bill trying to get that bottom side to work. Here comes Felix Watt to the outside. Felix looking to take that number four spot away. Through turn number one and two. Look at that. I told you, watch out for Durgan. Durgan already up to that number eight spot looking for more as they head into turn number three. Down into turn number three and four. It is caution flag again. Looks like looks like Rockefeller caught up in this one. Let's see what happened. Oh, what the heck happened there? I don't know if Drew got uh, loose or just turned down into him. Watch the one. Oh, the 100 just cut down into the three there. Uh, just cut right down into Sean. That's going to clip out Rockefeller. Rockefeller going to have to go to the back as we get a quick caution once again. All right, next. I'll see you later. Yeah, we got uh, we at 945 Eastern time. We will be back with the super late models. So you don't want to miss that one. That should be good, too. As uh, we get another caution here tonight, I'll tell you, we we I don't think we've had three cautions. Did we get three cautions in the last few weeks? I think there's always been one or two. It's the first time we've had this many cautions, and we are only six laps into this one. These guys definitely struggling a bit here at Knoxville. I'll tell you what, there is one guy that would like for it to go green and just like to set his sights on that victory tonight. It is going to be the 6'11 of Logan Herbert. No one, Caleb Durgan up to that number eight spot is digging up through the field. And Durgan, Durgan's usually fast here, so uh, it's going to be easy. It's going to be interesting. Knox Daga says, Dave, what's up, cool OG? All right, next, I'll see you. I'll see you for that one. All right, so uh, we're going to look for that green flag once again. Herbert out front. It's going to be Cudney on the outside. Then it's going to be Damian Ward and Felix Wah in that second row. I don't know why they're three wide back there. <laughs> Ryan's going to get back in line as they head into turn number three and four. Looking for that green flag out of turn number four. Green flag is out as Herbert gets on the gas. He's going to get a nice jump out of turn number four. Slides up the track. Cudden, he's going to be nice and clear to turn number one and two. Here comes Damian Ward to the bottom side. Damian not able to get it stick to stick. He's got to fall back up in line. What's up, Trev? What's up, Tyler? Thank you for the fall. Appreciate that as they head into turn number three and four. Out of turn number four, Felix Wad digging down low on Damian Ward as they come down the first straightaway into turn number one and two. Battle for third as Durgan is still bobbing and weaving his way through the field. He's going to take fifth out of turn number two. So here comes Durgan in that number 17 as they head through turn number three and four. Logan Herbert hoping for no more cautions. He wants to set his sights and put some space between him and that number 17 as they head into turn number one and two. Ooh. I think Ethan just bumped draft Caleb Durgan through turn number one and two there as Ethan, Bill, and T Clem duke it out for that number six spot. T Clem rolling good here tonight in that number 97 as they come out of turn number four. Here comes Durgan looking for more up underneath Felix Wild into turn number one and two. Durgan going to dig out of turn number two. Felix Wild going to jump the berm up on the high side. Big run out of turn number two down into turn number three and four. That's that berm. I'm at cushion. Out of turn number four. Battle for that number four position. Durgan's got it. Now here comes T Clem. He's looking for more as he's up underneath Felix. Out of turn number two, down the back straightaway. T Club down low. Felix Wall up high into turn number three. Oh, they're racing. T Club's got to back out of it. Big run through three. Four. Wah. Out of turn number four. He can't get up, up next to Durgan. 
down into turn number one and two. Looks like Felix is starting to get that top, that uh, middle lane to roll a little bit more as he has definitely closed the gap back in on Durgan. Down into turn number three up four. Tikla, I'm going to push Wa all the way up the track out of turn four. Pushes Felix back to that number six position. Move T Clem up into that top five. You can tell these these uh, IRL drivers looking for some different lines around the track as Felix is going to take those bumps. This track is so bumpy here tonight. Let's get a closer view, kind of get an idea how bumpy these cars are. Look at them bump out of the corners. This track is bumpy as hell here tonight as they head into one and two. I see Cudney searching for a line up towards the front and then number 25 trying to close back in on Herbert. They all know that 17 is coming. t Climb almost to the back bumper of Durgan. Look how bumpy that is. These guys are bumping around like crazy. Let's go jump on board with t Climb just to give you an idea. I mean, you can hear that car working against the bumps. Look at how bumpy that is. That suspension is working like crazy here tonight at Knoxville as we get the caution flag. All right, we're going to take a look and see what happened here. It looks like Sean got caught up in this one. Oh, Isaac gives him a little bump. Oh, no. That is unfortunate. Sean goes around. As the caution flag comes out, he tried to back it out of it and not get into Cameron. And uh, it looks like uh, Isaac had nowhere to go. Gets into that back bumper as we get the caution flag once again here tonight. <laughs> They're explaining how it sounds. And we were just in there. Steve, Steve, thank you for like Nick. Thank you for like, appreciate that. They're talking about how it's, you know, that wow, wow, wow. We just listened to it when we were on board. And, uh, yeah, that's what we were just hearing. And they're talking about how bumpy it is out there. These guys trying to get a handle on these cars as Logan Herbert in the 611 did not want to see that caution. Logan Herbert wanted this one to go green the whole way. And now he's got to back it up against the field with Durgan and not too far back. James, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. All right, let's see if they get one to go at the line this time by out of turn number four. Herbert leads the way. Kenny Cudney second. As they head into turn number one and two, looks like it's one to go. All right, let's see if we get some green flag racing, guys. We're not even to the halfway point yet. As they come out of turn number two. Oh, Durgan just hit the wall on their pace and out of turn number two, I think. He's looking for a big jump here. Trying to take advantage of these restarts. Get as many cars as he can and they head through turn number three and four. Pace car is in. Pace truck is in. Green flag is out. Green flag is out. David, thank you for the... Dave, thank you for the like. Appreciate that. As they head into one and two. Going to be Herbert out front. Cudney second. Durgan tries to take it three wide. He's up on the high side of Ward as they come down the back straightaway into turn number three of four. Ward going to roll the bottom. Durgan up high out of turn four. Oh, we got Drew Alton around. Big wreck into turn number three of four. Caution flag is out once again here tonight. Let's see what happened to Drew Alton here. I've seen him shot up. I think him and Isaac are going to get together here. Oh, oh, Drew just backed it way down and uh, Isaac into the back of him brings out the caution flag. I'll tell you what, that is not a very good welcome back for that number 15 here tonight. Isaac cannot be happy with this one. All right, let's see when we get that one to go. As they head into turn number one and two. I can't tell if the pace lights are out or not, but nope, they're not out. These guys would be a lot closer together if it was out right now. Oh, these guys need to pick up the pace. They're boring me a little bit. No kidding. All right, we're going to get them restacked up hopefully next time by get that one to go. 
for Logan Herbert and Kenny Cudney on that front row. Durgan not able to get any spots this time. Let's see if he has a better chance, better luck on this next restart. I don't know if these guys are really mad at each other or if they're mad at the track. This track is looking bumpy here tonight, and they have, I've heard more complaining about the track and apologies to other drivers than I have heard anybody being mad at anybody else. So it'll be interesting to see. I think a lot of these guys kind of know the situation under here tonight, and the racing has been absolutely phenomenal, especially the last three weeks for the big block modifies and the super late models. So I think a lot of this is just conditions as these guys look for the green flag out of turn number four logan herbert gets on the gas green flag is out green flag is out as they come out of turn number four down into one and two here comes three wide per second as damian ward gets together with durgan durgan gonna get up underneath here comes t clem down low three wide for third into turn number three. Oh, durgan's gonna get up into ward ward's gonna push up the track out of turn four gatlin thank you for the follow it is going to be Cudney and second Durgan and Ward, your top four. Three wide behind him as we got Felix Wall digging up on that outside as they come out of turn number two. Down the back straightaway, Durgan's going to try. Oh, Durgan slows it way down. t Clem has to back out of it. Gofemus, nowhere to go. Gets in the back of t Clem. Out of turn number four, down into turn number one and two. Durgan's going to ship it in. He's going to slide up the track. Can't quite get up underneath Cudney. Out of turn number two, here comes Ward to the outside. Battle for third into turn number three and four. Ward's going to dig the outside. Durgan down low drag race for the number three spot out of turn number four. Down the front straightaway into turn number one and two. Both lanes looking pretty even right now as they head through turn number one and two. Ward's going to get a big run out of turn two. Durgan slams the door. Durgan slams on the door. We got contact for the back. Chance car up the track. How did they all survive that one? Big contact through the field. Somehow everybody keeps it straight as they head into one and two. Oh, somebody not happy now as... Logan Herbert is definitely happy. He's almost one second out in front of this mess, mess as Wah gets up into the wall. Cudney in second, Durgan in third, Ward all over the back of Durgan as they head into one and two. Here comes Ward up underneath Durgan. Can't quite get it to stick as they come out of turn number two down the back straightaway into turn number three and four. Still single file for those front groups. T Club and Ethan Bill side by side further back. Here comes Ward back down low. Ward going to ship it into turn number one and two. Tries to get up underneath Durgan. Can't quite get it to stick. Durgan up underneath Cudney out of turn number two. This is what Herbert needed as they head into turn number three and four. Back to single file for those top. The top four. Nope. Ward's going to get a run. Big run out of turn number three. He's going to ship it into turn number one and two. They're going to run out of room as they come out of turn two down the back straightaway. Ward can't get. Oh, we got good drive off the corners. Durgan's going to chop and chop him into turn number three. Out of turn number four, top uh, second, third, and fourth battling it out as Herbert drives away. He's 1.4 seconds in front of Cudney. Ward's got a little bit of speed in this number 32. You got a good battle behind these guys. That's why I don't want to leave this view. Look at the racing on the track as they head into turn number three and four. t Clum throws a big slider up there in front of Felix Waugh. Out of turn number four, down into one and two. Here comes Cudney back down low. Durgan's going to go search for something else. Digs way up to the high side on a turn number two. Down the back straightaway into turn number three and four. Whatever Durgan just did, it might have worked. As they head through turn number three and four, it is going to be 27 laps complete. 27 laps in the books, 23 to go. J Tim Joy, thank you for the follow. As they head into turn number one and two, here comes T Clum. T Clum looking up underneath Ward as they come out of turn number two. Things are calming down just a bit, kind of like the eye of the storm. The, con <laughs> the calm before the storm, I think, is what we're seeing right now. As they head into turn number one and two, it's all Logan Herbert out front enjoying his lead as they come out of turn number two. Let's go look back in the field a little bit. Look at Ryan Gofamus in that number 75 starting to come up. And I'll tell you what, we got to keep an eye on T-Club. He has got some speed here tonight as these guys are spread through the field. How about Chance Carr recovering after that contact, getting pushed to the back as we got racing back up here for that number three position. 
Damian Ward looking back up underneath Durgan. Here comes T-Clum looking at the high side of Ward as they head through turn number three of four. Out of turn number four, it is going to be 10 or 20 laps to go at the line. 20 laps to go as they head into turn number one and two. Cudney going to dig way up high. Big run out of turn number two as, as Logan Herbert continues to lead the fastest car on the track last time. By was Ryan Gofamis. Let's see who it is this time as they come across the line. Still Herbert out front. Let's take a look at these lap times. Looks like Caleb Durgan was the fastest car that time by. Out of turn number two. I'll tell you what, this battle is definitely getting interesting here. As they head through turn number three and four, down the front straightaway, Durgan and Ward going at it. And t Clem, he's going to shove it in there in one and two. t Clem sticks it in hard into turn number one and two. As Ward's going to dig the outside down the back straightaway into turn number three and four. Ward into the back of Durgan. Here comes t Clem three wide. Three wide for that number three position as they come out of turn number... I don't even know what turn number two down the back straightaway it is going to be back down the two wide as t Clem has got some dig in that number 97 down into turn number three and four battle for that number three spot durgan trying to hold off damian ward ryan gofamis and kenny cudney or not kenny cudney but uh t Clem. man i can't get t Clem's name right tonight he's gonna message me and say what the hell Oh, are they going to make it four wide? Not quite as they come out of turn number four. I thought they were going to hit that four wide. That was insane. Into turn number one and two. They're dragging Cudney up into this. We're starting to brew a battle for second place here as Herbert leads the field as they head through turn number three and four. Going to be a five car battle for for a second if they can all catch up to Cudney Damian Ward with some speed and then number 34 looks the high side three wide three wide through turn number one and two Ryan Gofam is going to fall back they're all going to get back single file here comes T Club down low he's going to ship it in tries to slide Gofam can't quite do it he's got to go back in line out of turn number four down the front straight away into turn number one and two oh T Club jumps the berm Oh, makes a little bit of contact with Ryan. Here comes Caleb Durgan looking to put the pressure on Cudney in that number two spot as they head through turn number three and four. Out of turn four, it's going to be 12 laps to go at the line. It's, oh, Gofamis and t Clem making contact for that number five spot. Durgan tries to slide. Cudney can't quite clear. Cudney digs to the outside. Out of turn number two. Down the back straightaway. Into turn number three of four. I don't know what to watch at this point. These are all good battles. Ooh, t Club makes a little mistake in three and four. Oh, Ward's low. And Durgan still goes down into the corner in turn number one and two. Damian Ward almost being used up there once again as Cudney comes back with the crossover on Durgan. He's going to slide into three and four. Durgan going to look to cut down and drive up underneath Cudney out of turn number four. Drag race down the front straightaway into one and two. Here comes Durgan with the slide. Cudney, watch for Cudney with the cut down out of turn number two. Nope, no cut down, but he's got the run down the back straightaway. He's going to stay in line. All right, so Cudney stays in line behind Durgan, doesn't try to ship it in as they come out of turn number four. Out front, it is all Logan Herbert. He is 1.93 seconds in front of this battle as they head out of turn number two down the back straightaway. Durgan up to that number two spot. Kenny Cudney in third, Damian Ward fourth, Go Famous in fifth, T Clem in sixth. Out of turn number four, coming to the line. It is going to be eight laps to go into turn number one and two. Here comes Ward looking for third up underneath Cudney. As they come out of turn number two, Cudney going to dig the outside. Down the back straightaway looking for turn number three. Scott Dobbs, thank you for the like. Appreciate that. As they head through turn number three of four, Logan Herbert leads the field. We're watching that battle for a second. Caleb Durgan in the number 17. Oh, they're four wide into turn number one and two. Four wide as t Clem looks low. He's going to back out of it out of turn number two as Cudney's going to keep third. Down into turn number three and four. It is going to be six laps to go at the line. This race is not figured out at this point as they come across the line heading into turn number one and two. Here comes Ward down low. Cudney going to dig back to the outside. t Clem just behind Ward as they come out of two down the back straightaway. 
Down into turn number three and four. Oh, T Club ships it in almost into the back of Ward. Brian's going to make a little bit of contact with the wall. He's going to slide back to that number six spot. Give the fifth position to T Club as he makes contact with Ward and one and two. Down the back straightaway, looking for turn number three and four. Laps are closing in. Here comes Cudney, looking back up underneath Durkin as they come out of turn number four. It is going to be four laps to go. Four laps to go as they head into turn number one and two. This battle for second, absolutely epic here tonight. This is what we've been look, waiting for all night long as they head into turn number three and four. Can they keep it lean and green the rest of the way as they come out of turn number four? It's going to be three laps to go. Three laps to go as they head into turn number one and two. t I'm going to slide up the track. Can't quite clear him. Here comes Ward back to the outside. Out of turn number two, down the back straight away. Looking for turn number three and four. t Clem got has some speed in that number 97 as they come out of turn number four. All Herbert out front. All he's got to do is not make any mistakes. Hope for no cautions. Oh, t Clem more contact with Ward. Ward going to dig up underneath Cudney as they come out of turn number two. Two laps to go into turn number three of four. Out of turn number four. White flag in the air. Will they get it? One lap to go as they come out of turn four. Here comes Damian Ward. Ward's going to make contact with Durgan. I'll tell you what. Durgan has chopped down on Ward so many times. Ward has given him a ton of breaks. Here comes Cudney digging up underneath Durgan. Down into turn number three and four. Cudney all over the back of Durgan. Oh, Cudney gets loose. Out of turn four. Three wide for third. Three wide coming to the line. Who's going to get it? I think it was Ward in third. I think it's... I don't know. It's Herbert Durgan, and it's saying Cudney, but we're going to look at the official times. What a finish for third. Let's look at those official results, and then we'll go back and take a look at it. Cudney did get it. Look how close that was. We're talking thousands of a second there. What is that? Seven thousandths of a second between... <laughs> Between uh, third and fourth, what a finish coming to the line. We're going to go take another look at that finish for that number. <laughs> I'm choking on my own spit. I'm so excited. All right, let's look up on the blimp. Watch this finish coming out of turn number four. Look at these guys go. Look at T-Clem up on the high side. Look how close that is. Oh, so close at the line. I'll tell you what, I think T-Clem was a second or third place car. Didn't quite make it, but he definitely had a fast one tonight. Look at how close this is coming out of turn number four. <laughs> wow, what a finish. What a show. I mean, I thought it was, it started off rough. Oh, Cudney got into T-Clem. It started off rough, but what a finish to this one here tonight. Oh, you can't see it. My bad, my bad. Yeah, I know. I see that, Mike. I just, I just realized it automatically popped up. Hold on. We'll go back and take some looks at it again. Look, sees that was a good one. Look how close this was, though. We'll jump up to the blimp first. Watch how close this is as they come out of turn number four. Karen, thank you for the like. Look how close that is at the line. So close. Look how close this is. How about t Clubs move to the high side as they come out of turn at number four? Look, I'm into the line. Ooh, a little bit of contact between Cudney and t Clem. What a finish here tonight. Let's go ahead and take a look at those results that you guys already got to look at. It is going to be Herbert with the win. Caleb Durgan second. Kenny Cudney in third. Damian Ward's going to get fourth. t Clem in fifth. Yeah, they were definitely, de definitely Derek. It's going to be t Clem fifth. Ryan Gofamas in sixth. It's going to be Chance Carr in that number seven spot. Ethan Bill in eighth. Kevin Robinson works his way back up to ninth. Aaron Langley is going to be tenth. Cameron Tuttle in eleventh. Felix Waugh in twelfth. Rockefeller is going to be thirteenth. Sean fourteenth. Brandon Barnhart fifteenth. Drew Alton sixteenth. Isaac D. Oliveira seventeenth. And Tyler Reed rounding out the field in that number eighteenth position. Guys, we are going to be back at about 9.45 Eastern Standard Time, so a little less than an hour. Make sure you guys got those notifications on. Michael, thank you for the like. Appreciate that. And as always, until next time, be safe and have a good night.